In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Namecheap domain to Webflow. So what you want to do is go to Webflow and then find your website. So I'm going to use this example site. We're going to open the designer and then once you're here, you can go ahead and connect any custom domain. Now we're going to do it using the automatic method because I do think it is the better method. It is much easier. So go publish in the top right hand corner, then click add a custom domain that will redirect you to the publishing section. Now it will only redirect you here if you have bought a plan which allows you to upgrade and add a custom domain. So you need the basic plan to do this. If you don't have one, go ahead and buy the basic plan first. So once you've got the basic plan and you've followed these prior instructions, go to publishing, then click add a custom domain, quick connect domain. And what it's gonna do is it's going to add our domain automatically. We can then go ahead and continue and we need to now enter in our domain. So I actually don't know which domain I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna just sign in to Namecheap first. So here we are on my dashboard. I'm gonna to go to domain list and we'll use one of these domains. I guess we'll use knowledgebasevideos.com. So we'll copy this first domain. We'll then go back to this window and paste it in and click continue. It's then gonna analyze the domain. It should then find the domain provider, which is gonna be Namecheap. And just like that, it's now asking us to log into our account that gives them one time permission to connect your domain. And basically what they do is they add the relevant C name and A records. So I'm gonna enter in my details here. Once I've done that, we can click continue. It's then gonna authenticate this, make sure that the login details are correct. And once it's done that, it then should add the records. Okay, so it's logged me in. It's also asked for a verification code, which was sent to my email, which I've just confirmed. We'll now click continue and we'll just wait again. And there you go, it's now setting up the domain. That was actually really quick and it configured it literally in seconds. And what it does is it essentially adds all of the relevant records which you need to connect your domain. It just does it automatically. So then click done. You can see a custom domain added. Now it might not be verified straight away. The only problem is it can take up to 48 hours to propagate. So if you keep clicking on verified domain, it should then verify. It may give you some error messages. If you wanna just double check it, you can go to your Namecheap dashboard. If you go to manage on your domain, they should have then added the records. So if we go ahead and go to advanced DNS, it should then have added the records. So here you can see we've added four records. I'm gonna refresh this page and see if it verifies the domain. There you go, one of them has been verified and both of them have been connected. So now we can just go ahead and check that it's working. Now it may not be working straight away, it can take up to 48 hours, but let's see if it loads. Yep, so right now it isn't connected straight away, but if you did want to check just to be sure that it is working, you can just go to a website like dnschecker.org and if you just paste in your domain here, then click search, as long as everything's green here, it means everything's been added correctly, you just simply need to wait for the DNS records to propagate and update, which can take up to 48 hours. So do be patient and wait up to 48 hours. But as long as you've done this and it says connected, everything will be working and it should then work in 48 hours. So I hope that quick video did help you out.